again. Uh, my name is Raghu Reddy and I head online sales at Xiaomi India. Uh, we have a lot of great stuff to talk about today over here. So let me get started quickly. Uh, the first thing that I, the first piece of news that I want to share with you is uh, Xiaomi continues to remain uh, the, the number one smartphone brand for the fourth consecutive quarter. Uh, we've been the number one brand since Q3 of 2017. Uh, as for the latest quarter, the results that have come out, which is Q2 of 2018, Hold a 29.7% market share, which means that roughly one out of three phones being sold in the country right now uh, are, are Xiaomi phones. Uh, we continue to remain dominant in the online segment. Uh, we are number one there with a 55.6% market share, and we've been the number one brand in the online space for the last seven straight quarters. Uh, so as we continue to grow bigger, uh, our responsibilities are also bigger, our customer grace is becoming bigger. Uh, we are trying to improve all aspects of our customer experience. So we are focusing a lot on our after-sales experience for the last few quarters. And I'm happy to share that uh, we've also been rated uh, number one in after-sales performance uh, by an independent third-party agency uh, which has done a survey across thousands of customers. So what exactly is number one in after-sales service? Uh, so they ran a survey across thousands of respondents uh, you know, trying to figure out, you know, how good was their issue resolution, issue understanding, first call resolution, uh, and the infrastructure that, you know, the brand provides. Uh, happy to, you know, say that we've been rated as the leader or being amongst the leaders across all of these parameters, which helps us give a great customer experience to our Mi fans. Uh, we are here today to talk about the Redmi series. Uh, this has been the core of our, uh, you know, lineup here in the country. Uh, many customers who started using Redmi 1S uh, have continued to stay loyal and you know upgraded to most Redmi devices that have been launched over the years. Uh, in fact, if you were to look at uh, Q2 of 2018, the top four out of the top five selling smartphones in the country were Xiaomi smartphones. Uh, you had Redmi 5A at number one, you had Redmi Note 5 Pro at number two, uh, you had Redmi Note 5 at three, and you had Redmi 5 at number four. Uh, as you can see, our Redmi fan base is growing stronger and stronger. And with this kind of customer loyalty, we feel the need to push ourselves and offer the best to our Mi fans. So today, uh, we're bringing not just one, but three smartphones uh, to our Mi fans over here in India. So the three devices are Redmi 6A, uh, which is the smartphone for everyone. Uh, anyone who's looking for a great smartphone experience at the entry level is something that we're uh, looking to introduce. Uh, we're also bringing in Redmi 6, uh, with the aim of bringing a dual camera experience to uh, making it accessible to a lot more people in the country. And then we're also bringing Redmi 6 Pro, which is targeted purely at our power Redmi users. So let me get started with Redmi 6A. Uh, so last year in November, we launched Redmi 5A. Uh, we called it the Deshka smartphone. And our hope was that you know it becomes the preferred smartphone choice for most customers looking to buy their first smartphone or upgrading to a smartphone. Uh, it actually lived up to its billing. Uh, we realized that it was the first choice for a lot of customers, uh, and we've got more than a million testimonials on Flipkart. And if you look at it, uh, it's perhaps one of the few products, probably the only product outside of Redmi Note 4 to get more than one million ratings on Flipkart. Uh, we've got millions of testimonials, most of them overwhelmingly positive, most of them indicating that you know this is the best experience that we could get on a phone at that segment. So, so we've, uh, it's been so successful that you know it remains the top-selling phone even nine months after launch, uh, and in Q, just in Q2 alone, we have shipped more than three million units to be the number one smartphone in Q2. Uh, the Redmi 5A was also one of the most popular smartphones across the world. Uh, it was the best-selling and best-selling Android phone globally uh, in Q1 of this year. So now, today, we're launching the successor to Redmi 5A, and we're calling it the Deshka Naya smartphone. So with Redmi 6A, uh, we're trying to give all-round upgrades, uh, cutting across design, performance, and camera. So let's start, get started with the design. Uh, so the Redmi 6A uh, gets a bump up uh, in design. It comes with a 5.45-inch, 18-inch to 9 full-screen display with an HD Plus resolution. Uh, it also comes with, because of its 18 to 9 display, uh, within the similar footprint as that of a 5A, uh, we're able to squeeze in a 0.45 inch extra space into the screen, uh, which also means that the screen to body ratio on 6A is 10% higher than what we had on Redmi 5A. Uh, so the Redmi 6A continues with the same brushed metallic finish that everyone loved in Redmi 5A. 
Uh, it also comes with a more pronounced uh, arc design, which means that when you hold the phone in your hands, uh, you get a good grip. Uh, it also means that it, it feels a lot slimmer than it actually is. Uh, so the Redmi 6A comes in four colors, uh, black, gold, rose gold, uh, and blue, which is my favorite color and which is the favorite for a lot of people out here. Uh, now moving to performance, uh, this is where uh, we've tried to put in the most amount of effort, uh, trying to better the experience that the customer gets. So for the first time ever, the Redmi 6A uh, comes with a 12 nanometer FinFET processor, uh, which is the Helio A22. Uh, it's also, it is also a processor that allows you to go uh, up to clock speeds of two gigahertz. So a lot of you might be thinking, you know, why is 12 nanometer a big deal? How does it really impact the user experience? Uh, long story short, we'd spoken about it at length last year when we had first introduced the 14 nanometer process in one of our devices, which is Redmi Note 4. Uh, with 12 nanometer FinFET, uh, what it means is uh, it refers to the size of the transistors in the processor. The smaller the size, the more transistors that can be packed into it and the less energy that they consume, which means that uh, as an end customer, you get better battery performance, uh, better thermal performance, and much better overall CPU performance with a 12 nanometer chip. Uh, so the Redmi 6A comes with the same 3000 mAh battery that we had on Redmi 5A, uh, but thanks to the Helio A22 12 nanometer chipset, uh, you see a considerable increase uh, in a whole bunch of parameters. So the 4G talk time increases by about 41%, video playback uh, goes longer by about 34%, uh, and you see incre increments in music playback, gaming, and standby as well. So this is the only smartphone uh, in the industry, in this segment, that comes with a 12 nanometer processor. Uh, also the only smartphone in this segment that comes with a clock speed of up to two gigahertz. What it means is when you actually hold the device, you will get a performance uh, that you would not be used to in this kind of a segment. Uh, so the Helio A22 uh, on Redmi 6A, the SOC performance is 33% better than that on Redmi 5A. Uh, while running at the same speed, the power consumption on uh, Redmi 6A powered by Helio A22 is actually 48% lower. So more powerful than before, faster than ever. Uh, to summarize, Redmi 6A comes with a Helio A22 processor uh, uh, which goes up to two gigahertz, and you know it comes with a 12 nanometer FinFET tech, so uh, it's a lot more efficient compared to Redmi 5A. Uh, now moving on from performance, uh, the next area where we've uh, we've added to Redmi 5A is uh, the Redmi 6A comes with an AI-based face unlock, uh, which means our uh, AI-based facial recognition technology. Uh, all you need to do is uh, raise the phone, and uh, the phone unlock the phone unlocks. Boom. So. The phone comes with AI face unlock. It also comes with uh, other options like unlock with your Mi Band or unlock in a trusted environment using a smart unlock feature. Uh, so the, this is one of the features that we were most appreciated for in Redmi 5A when we introduced for the first time ever in our Redmi phones, we introduced a two plus one. Uh, it was very appreciated and we want to continue with that story out here. Uh, so the Redmi 6A comes uh, with a dedicated micro SD slot, uh, which means that you can use both of your SIMs and use a micro SD card to uh, you know, store all your movies and music in the phone itself. Uh, the other important feature where uh, we've tried to, uh, you know, really look at the users and you know try the try to solve their pain points is uh, coming out with the dual multi dual standby mode. Uh, what it means is uh, historically, you know, all the phones in the market, if you're using, let's assume you know you had two two SIM cards, you know, one geo and one non geo, uh, and you start using the uh, you start using 4G LTE on your non-geo SIM, your, the, the network on your geo SIM vanishes. Uh, but with dual multi, dual standby, uh, technically you could use both of your SIMs on 4G multi, you know, one for calling and one to run your data. Uh, so this is helpful as more and more telcos uh, roll out, you know, multi-based networks across different circles. And this is probably a requirement that a lot of customers would need as we move into the future. So the Redmi 6A uh, ships out with uh, MIUI 9.6 which is based on Android Oreo 8.1, uh, but it will be upgraded to MIUI 10 in the near future. Next, uh, let me talk about the camera. Uh, the camera on Redmi 5 was, 5A was great, uh, and the, Redmi, the camera on Redmi 6A is no slouch either. Uh, it comes with a 13 megapixel camera with face detection autofocus. Uh, let's take a look at some of the snaps that we've taken on this one. Uh, as with Redmi 5A, great picture quality, 
uh, great details on the subject. Uh, look at the T-shirt. Again, you can actually check out all the details out there, and the colors on the background are, you know, bright and vibrant, uh, you know, reproduced accurately. Uh, let's take a look at one more photo again. Uh, does justice to the, just justice to the, you know, subject and the surroundings. The color reproduction is pretty accurate. So that was about the rare camera. Uh, one of the other things that we realized is. Uh, more and more people are taking not just photos but also recording videos and we for the first time ever in this particular segment we're bringing in electronic image stabilization to help uh, help customers make videos that are less jerky in nature uh, from what we know most of the other brands uh, offer this uh, feature only in devices upwards of 15000 we are trying to bring that down to even the Redmi 6A series uh, so the Redmi 5A comes with a 5 megapixel selfie camera uh, which has got bumped up with an AI portrait mode and an AI beautify mode. So this is based on our AI-based uh, semantic segmentation. This is something that we've talked about at length, uh, but now what we're trying to do is get that tech down from you know, some of the devices at the higher price points uh, right down to the Redmi 6A series itself. Uh, so this is one of the shots that we take. Uh, this is an AI portrait shot. Uh, as you can see, despite the lack of a secondary sensor for depth information, uh, based on the you know deep, based on the AI algorithms that we have, it's able to differentiate between uh, the subject and the background and blurs out the background quite clearly. So this this tech works very well uh, for the selfie standpoint. Uh, we also have AI Beautify 4.0, uh, which means that it's able to identify different skin different skin skin tones, different skin types, and based on that you know beautify uh, as if you know you, you put on a makeup. So it's effectively uh, you know, doing a makeup without doing a makeup when you actually use the phone out here. So this, this is one of the shots that we've taken. Again, if you see, uh, there are way too many colors in this photo, but uh, with the algorithm that's running out there, uh, you can see that, you know, the beautify is just restricted to the face and not just, you know, sort of uh, going around the whole picture. So that's Redmi 6A, uh, Deshka Naya smartphone. Uh, big upgrades around across the board, 18 to 9 full screen display with a 5.45 inch display, uh, a 12 nanometer uh, processor with up to 2 gigahertz of uh, clock speed, uh, which is a definitely a first for this segment and definitely offers customers a much better smartphone experience at its core. Uh, it also comes with dual Volti and dual standby. Uh, so that's Redmi 5A versus Redmi 6A. As you can see, it's an all round upgrade cutting across things that matter to the customers. Next, uh, I would like to call on stage uh, Anuj, who's just joined us as head of marketing, to take you through the next two products, which is the Redmi 6 and the Redmi 6 Pro. All right, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. and. Uh, you know, again, a warm welcome again uh, to the media colleagues here, everyone else joining us, and especially the me fans. Uh, you know, we are obviously really excited. Uh, I'm Anuj, and uh, I ha head the marketing at uh, Xiaomi India. Uh, so, you know, Raghu obviously just introduced uh, Desh Kanya smartphone, and I'm sure that's going to, uh, you know, change the way people again look at uh, entry-level smartphones. Uh, but we've got a lot more stuff to talk about, uh, and let me get into that directly. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Redmi 6. Now, you are familiar with this uh, series, but we've changed quite a lot of things. Redmi 6 gets dual camera and high performance for everyone. Uh, uh, this one will talk about uh, design to start with. Uh, so with the, the Redmi 6, what we have is an 18 by 9 uh, full screen display uh, and an HD plus resolution on a 5.45 inch uh, screen. Uh, it's again made with high quality uh, materials and a brushed metallic finish and uh, uh, improved overall arc design. Uh, so this one is you know, further kind of curved, uh, perfectly kind of contours to fit into your palm, gives you a better hand feel uh, better grip and overall a better usage experience, especially when you're holding that phone and trying to use it with one hand. Uh, now, uh, the Redmi 6 will come in four amazing colors. So you've got the classic black, you've got gold, the fan favorite blue, and rose gold. Uh, all of them look absolutely amazing. 
and I'll just wait a minute for you to take those pictures. Uh, so great looking devices, but uh, looks is one part and we just spoke about the fact that we're trying to get dual camera for everyone. So let's talk about the cameras. Right? Uh, and before I get into the camera on the Redmi 6, uh, let's look at the cameras that competition has in the 10 to 12,000 kind of a, a segment. So we've taken some of the leading devices that are there in the, the 10 to 12,000. Of course, the leading devices are all from uh, Xiaomi, but beyond that. Uh, so most of the de devices that you see are, one, single camera devices. Second, the pixel size is limited to about 1.12 micron. And even, uh, as Raghu was saying, electronic image stabilization for video capture is limited. Uh, what we want to do is obviously change that uh, and give a great camera experience to the consumers. So uh, the first thing is this one has a 12 megapixel plus a 5 megapixel rear camera with a 1.25 micron pixel size. Uh, why a 1.25 micron pixel size? Because that actually changes the way uh, your images are captured, it takes in almost 20% more light. And when you, you know, the, the direct thing that you will take from this is it turns out to be amazing in low light photography, right? Uh, it improves this significantly, and the larger sensor definitely helps take a larger, a, a clearer and a sharper picture, even in normal conditions uh, compared to a 1.12 micron. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of pictures. So look at this one. This is a very interesting one where you can see how good the dynamic range is on the Redmi 6. So you've got the, the skies out there, and of course it's, it's daylight, so it's harsh light coming in. Uh, but you can clearly see the sky, the water, uh, even the, the details on the building uh, behind that while retaining everything else in the foreground. So you can clearly see the table, uh, the details on the table. And uh, you know what I really like was the fact that it's not missed out uh, details like the photo frame in the back, which normally most of the uh, competitive devices in this price plan would miss out on. Uh, but then this, is, this does have a 1.25 micron pixel uh, uh, camera sensor, uh, so definitely you get better low light images as well. So this is a, a beautiful shot. Uh, I, I guess some of you would have seen this. Uh, this is the Olympic uh, Stadium in Beijing. Uh, the Bird's Nest Stadium uh, looks absolutely fantastic, shot with the Redmi 6. Uh, but this is a dual camera device, and what we've got is we've put in AI portrait mode as well. So you've got the, the Xiaomi's AI-powered semantic segmentation engine here. Uh, what you get as a result is absolutely astounding portrait shots, something that you would not see in consumer de uh, competitive devices uh, in and around this segment at all. So this is a particularly tricky shot because you've got a lot of blue, uh, the background is also at variable distance, and you've got different backgrounds coming in. Uh, but with uh, a larger pixel, with our uh, uh, you know, AI semantic segmentation, there is a perfect uh, edge detection. So you see the hair, the shoulder, even the shirt, which is almost kind of uh, merging into the, the blue van at the back, none of the details are lost and the camera is able to cut that out perfectly. And of course, at the back, what you get is a perfectly gradient uh, bokeh. Another tricky shot was this one, because again, the background is, is a little hard to kind of capture. Uh, again, what you see is you know, perfect edge detection. Uh, the, the subject is sharp, she's in focus. Uh, if you look at the t-shirt, all the t-shirt uh, details are also kept in, even towards the edges. Uh, so. From a, a portrait perspective, this will give you uh, really great images every time. And we've, what we've seen is over the last uh, you know, few quarters, the use of video by our Mi fans going up, people taking smaller videos and sharing that a lot more. Uh, so we had to bring in electronic image stabilization, uh, gives you smoother videos, cuts out the jitter that you normally see with other devices. So great videos, of course, great portraits, and uh, definitely uh, amazing photography. From a front camera perspective, uh, we've again used our AI selfie camera uh, and uh, Beautify. So with this, uh, with the AI-powered uh, camera, you're able to get 
portrait shots with a single camera in the front. Uh, let's move on to performance. Uh, now that's the next part of it. Redmi series has always stood for performance uh, beyond what the competition offers. Uh, so we've made sure that the Redmi 6 performs fast, uh, even under heavy conditions. Uh, people, with the, people are using a lot more apps, a lot more multitasking. Uh, and while we're doing all of this performance side, uh, it should not sacrifice on the battery life. Now, how do we do this? Is starting at the heart, which is the, the SOC itself. Now, looking at a comparison here, uh, and looking at what competitive devices have, again, in the same price band of about 10 to, 15, uh, 10 to 12,000 rupees, uh, you have most of the devices are still at 28 nanometer. A few of them have moved on to a 40 nanometer uh, a node. Uh, some of them are still actually having uh, quad core devices. Uh, and there are a couple of octa cores that you see. Clock speeds normally limited to about 1.8 gigahertz. So that's, that's what you normally would get for, for this price. Uh, but for Redmi 6, we knew we could do better. And of course, our Mi fans demanded that we do a lot better. So this one comes with a 12 nanometer octa-core processor uh, clocked up to 2 gigahertz. Uh, we, we just touched upon the, the significance of having a 12 nanometer uh, uh, processor. But I'll, I'll again kind of cover that part up. What you get is better power efficiency. That means on the same battery size, you are able to go further. Uh, better thermal performance uh, because of the smaller nodes, and overall improvements in performance uh, versus the older technologies. And the Redmi 6 will be the only smartphone in the segment to offer a 12 nanometer octa core processor. So, again, a proof point of you know, what we try and do and provide the best possible products to our fans at uh, the most honest pricing. Uh, talking a bit more before we get into uh, this, why is uh, the P22 a great chip? One, yes, it is an octa-core. Second, it is a 12 nanometer uh, process, uh, but it's got four cores uh, towards four performance cores, which are for task-intensive applications, and there are four uh, battery-efficient cores at about 1.5 gigahertz. All of them based on the Cortex A53 architecture. Uh, but with intelligent task allocation, it can actually jump between these. So you can have the bigger cores coming in, smaller cores coming in, or a combination of this, depending on what you're doing with this device. So it's not really limited to uh, just, just one part. Uh, but all of this kind of combines together to give us uh, a, a performance bump. So We've been systematically improving the performance on the Redmi series, and this one we see a 30% improvement. And along with that, we also see a power consumption going down of almost up to 48% uh, compared to, say, a, a 28 nanometer processor. So to sum it up, uh, the chipset that we have here is the P22, uh, 12 nanometer FinFET technology, extremely power efficient. Uh, good on thermals and high performance. It's an octa-core processor, the only one that uh, is on 12 nanometer. You've got clock speeds going up to 2 gigahertz, as well as intelligent task allocation to be able to manage your multitasking and your day-to-day -day performance even better. So where, do, where does it fit in? Nobody else actually has a 12 nanometer. And uh, this is also the best in terms of performance and clock speed uh, amongst all competition. And because of the efficiency, uh, the Redmi 6 has a 3,000 mAh all-day battery, providing you almost 23 hours of music playback or 6 hours of full HD recording, uh, 12 hours of video playback. So it, it gets you through your day without any stutters, without uh, dying out on you. Uh, from an improvement perspective from the Redmi 5, uh, what you see is the call time improvement of almost about 11% while multimedia, which is music, and video improvements of almost about 20%. So overall, efficiency as well as power has been the focus here. Uh, with Redmi 6, you also get AI face unlock as well as a fingerprint reader. Uh, and that's not all. 
because security is becoming increasingly important, you also have multiple options. So fingerprint unlock, AI face unlock, you can unlock with the Mi Band or all the other smart unlock options uh, on the device. So for example, your home Wi-Fi network or a particular location, you can choose to have the, the device unlock. It's a trusted location. Uh, again, this is extremely important to our fans, and we've also kept this. It's a two plus one card slot. Uh, so it's dual nano SIM and expandable storage up to 256 gigs. Uh, that means you don't really have to compromise whether you want a dual SIM device or uh, you know, a single SIM with expandable storage. Enough storage to carry all your music, videos, photographs, whatever you want to carry with you. And Redmi 6 also comes with dual Volti, uh, dual standby. Uh, Raghu did mention why you need this. Uh, I'll reiterate that part. HD calling on either SIM, so you don't have to choose which SIM you have. Uh, and you can select you know, which SIM you want the data on. So even if your primary Volti calling SIM uh, is the one that you don't want to use the data, the other one could be actually pulling in this. And hence, overall, you get more reliable coverage. You're not switching between SIMs in case the data speeds goes down for a particular uh, region or, say, you're out of particular city limits. Uh, so overall, a, a beneficial technology and something that uh, you know, we saw consumers struggling with. So we, we've ensured that the Redmi 6 has this. Uh, the Redmi 6 will ship with MIUI 9.6 and to, will be updated to 10 uh, very soon. Uh, so that's it. Uh, the best in class dual camera uh, with uh, AI uh, portrait. You've got large 1.25 micron pixels. Uh, you've got dual Volti and uh, enhanced security like AI face unlock, uh, amongst other things. So that's it for the Redmi 6. Uh, just an overall comparison for everyone to see. An all-round upgrade again, coming from the Redmi 5 to the Redmi 6. Uh, you see an improvement in the, the performance efficiency, uh, the battery usage, uh, as well as you get a dual camera now uh, with AI portrait and dual Volti, along with improved uh, call time for that matter. So you get uh, so 26 hours on the Redmi 5 moves up to about 29 hours on the Redmi 6. So dual camera, octa-core speed. Uh, so actually dual camera for everyone. And, and this, this changes uh, the industry uh, and what people would, should be expecting from camera phones from now on. Uh, you know, how you take portrait photographs, how you will have portrait selfies. Uh, I think this should redefine what you would expect. Moving on. Uh, now, to, for the, the Redmi Power users. Now, this is a new one, and for the first time, we bring in a, a Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, now, this is based on the feedback that we got from Mi fans. Uh, you know, Redmi 6 is a great device, but then for our Power users who wanted a bit more, we made this device specifically for them. Uh, what you get with Redmi 6 Pro is dual cameras, and these are very special dual cameras, and we'll talk about this, and a two-day battery. But before I get into these two, let me just briefly show you the device from a design perspective. Uh, it comes with a 19 by 9 full screen display. It's a 5.84 inch full high definition plus with a notch. So you get extended screen area, extended usable area. Uh, but for those people who do not like this and love the device, which most people will, all you need to do is tap on the hide screen notch, and you're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. So best of both worlds, depending on how you want to use this device. Like I said, the device is an absolutely phenomenal device, and uh, you would want to kind of you know, get your hands on this one. Uh, it comes with a premium aluminum body, uh, excellent feel in the hand, uh, grippability, as well as uh, you know, how it kind of fits into your palm. Uh, this one, what you see is the black, uh, a very classy look, and some more angles. Uh, so, of course, a Xiaomi finish and Xiaomi quality, but uh, you've got black, you've got other colors coming in, 
Uh, this is the gold, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the fan favorite, blue, and we will have this as well. Uh, again, you know, this is this is a unique color, and uh, something that our fans were asking for. So for the first time on the Redmi series, we would also have this amazing red. So four colors, uh, the black, gold, blue, and now red coming in into the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, so just to kind of capture this, obviously the device looks great, but uh, I think there's a really cool video that we'd like to kind of show you uh, to see a bit more of how the device is. things that make it a pro, and one of my favorite bits is the, the AI dual camera. Why? So it, it's got a combination. Uh, the primary uh, camera is a 12 megapixel Sony IMX486 with a 1.25 micron pixel size, and the second one is a 5 megapixel Samsung sensor. Now, in case this sounds familiar, uh, this is a similar setup to India's best-selling dual camera device, the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And obviously, all of us know how good that device is at taking pictures, and we are bringing it to the Redmi series with the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, we do know the 1.25 micron pixels are letting you take in a lot more light, uh, so take better pictures. But then, of course, the overall camera sensor is uh, a really good one where you can get images like this. So shot on the Redmi 6 Pro, uh, both indoor and outdoor, it's able to handle the dynamic range really well, the colors, the overall sharpness. And of course, on the right side, we'll talk a bit more about this, but an absolutely amazing bokeh. Uh, you know, something that devices, I mean, you, you can limit this to a, a lot uh, higher priced devices. How does it achieve this? Of course, you've got the AI segmentation, uh, semantic segmentation coming in from Xiaomi, so you've got the AI portrait mode uh, that adds to this accurate edge detection. Uh, now, this is, this is something interesting where a lot of people do talk about portrait mode, but how does it make a difference when we use our uh, AI semantic segmentation? Just an example, and we took this in office. Uh, of course, uh, the Samsung device does not have any kind of a uh, a portrait to it, so I'll, I'll skip that out. But the, the, the challenging part, obviously, is what you can see around the, the person and uh, next to her arms. Right? Now, in the case of the Oppo, it's seen that the chair in the background is part of that person. It's not able to detect where the subject is ending and where is the background, while uh, the Redmi 6 Pro does that absolutely perfectly. Uh, of course, uh, the color reproduction and all that also happens there. Uh, there's a beautiful uh, gradient bokeh at the back, uh, and it, I think it, it looks absolutely fantastic overall. So let's look at a couple of more snaps uh, that uh, were taken from this device. So again, a, a beautiful portrait. Uh, this is again tricky because it's taken the glasses really well with the reflection, something that most dual camera devices will struggle with. And here, our AI engine does that really well. Uh, what's also interesting is, if you would, didn't notice the girl in the background, now the, the phone was smart enough to understand that she was not part of the scene, and she was blurred out as well. Uh, great looking shot. Uh, this one is absolutely fantastic. 
uh, amazing dynamic range, very crisp uh, overall image coming in, the colors are accurate, as well as you've got this amazing bokeh. It's almost like she's popping out of that uh, image. Uh, of course, these, are, these photographs were taken from the Redmi 6 Pro uh, without any equipment, but what happens when you've got uh, non-professionals, right? And, and people who don't really, are, are not trained in photography, and these are the everyday users, you know, people like you and me who would be using this quite a, lit, uh, quite a bit. Now, they've gotten amazing shots. Now, if you take a look at this one, now this one uh, is a really hard one to capture because one, it's got all the filaments in without really overexposing any part of it, right? Something you, again, will not expect from a device in this range. Uh, I absolutely love this one, the amount of detail it's able to capture, uh, both in the background as well as the subject. Uh, the way the, the, the red is popping out is, is phenomenal. Uh, of course, I mean, I don't really have to justify that. You've seen this camera before, and, and you know what it can do. Uh, with the Redmi 6 Pro, you also get EIS uh, because of the increasing uh, uh, trends that we are seeing in video capture. So we want to give the best possible experience. Uh, so to sum it up, with the Redmi 6 Pro, you will get the best AI dual camera experience in its class. And of course, it's got AI portrait selfie as well. Uh, a few shots. Again, uh, the background is blurred out perfectly. It's got edge detection. It's again, even the front camera with a single lens because of our AI is able to capture in the glasses on her head. Uh, and this is a really cool one where uh, not only great selfies for women, but the guys too, so we don't lose out. Uh, moving on from camera to the performance part of it. Now, the Redmi 6 Pro does have the best camera, but a very, is a very solid performer as well. This comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. Uh, it outperforms most of the mid-range devices even today uh, with a battery efficiency that's unparalleled in the industry. Uh, so best power efficiency, best performance in its class. And of course, we have seen raving reviews from people worldwide on how good this chipset is. Uh, and we've obviously used uh, this chipset in some of our best selling devices. Uh, this one, why? Because it gives you the perfect balance between performance, efficiency, as well as uh, the overall uh, daily usage. Compared to competition, uh, the Redmi 6 Pro is going to be at least about 20% faster. Uh, of course, that's a given. And from a battery perspective, uh, most popular devices in this price class are at about 3,000 mAh. The Redmi 6 Pro gives you a two-day 4,000 mAh battery. Uh, in real terms or real-world usage, what it means is almost about 28.5 hours of music playback, 10 hours of navigation, 7 hours of uh, you know, video capture. So it's, it's an overall great device to use, and it is for the pro users. So you get that two-day battery here. To sum it up, uh, best performance in its class and amazing battery life. The, the 6 Pro will also ship with MIUI 9.6 and will get an upgrade to MIUI 10. Uh, it also features all the security uh, uh, options that you would need. So you've got fingerprint unlock, you've got AI face unlock, unlock with the Mi Band, and smart unlock features as well. So you can keep it unlocked in trusted places or with trusted devices. The 6 Pro has a 2.1, it, it is a Pro device, so it has a 2.1, a 2 plus 1 uh, card slot. So dual nano SIM plus a micro SD expandable to 256 GB. So you don't lose out on any of those. And uh, one interesting thing that we found out was a lot of people, a lot of our consumers, a lot of our fans were buying our devices but would wait a couple of days till their cover arrived for that matter. So for that reason, we've decided to put an ultra slim case in the box with the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, and because it's coming from us, uh, you know it's gonna be a high quality 
a uh, cover and it's going to be a perfect fit as well. So all Redmi 6 Pro will get this cover in the box. So to sum it up, the Redmi 6 Pro, amazing dual cameras, uh, two-day battery life, and best-in-class performance, uh, all into one single Pro package. So that kind of sums up the Redmi 6 and the Redmi 6 Pro from my side. Uh, I'd like to call upon Raghu back on stage to talk about a few things that we are doing to take our offerings to our fans beyond just the best-in-class hardware and software in our products. So Raghu, back to you. Thanks, Anuj. Right, uh, so we launched three devices today, Redmi 6A, Redmi 6 and Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, all of these three devices will be completely made in India. Uh, we started our Make in India journey about three years back and we've continuously grown since then. Uh, today we have about six manufacturing plants uh, which will help manufacture all of these phones. Uh, six manufacturing plants across three locations. Uh, we've also started manufacturing PCBs here in India and we've, uh, we've gone on record to say that you know, we will try to localize the entire PCBA production by end of this year. Uh, so what's happening is uh, we are committed to the cause of Make in India and we are committed to the cause of making a global manufacturing hub. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of initiatives around this entire bit uh, which we've spoken about in the past uh, but for us uh, the whole part of our India story is about actually making here in India. Uh, it's not just about make in India, uh, this is something that we've spoken about in the past, uh, we're also customizing for India. And you know, one of the biggest customizations that we've done across all our devices is uh, adding dual pyrolytic graphite sheets, uh, mainly because you know, India is such a hot country. Uh, this graphite sheets helps in heat dissipation, which means that the average surface temperature on our devices goes down by about 2%. 2% might not seem too big for you guys, but 2% helps a whole lot more from a battery standpoint. So that's from a uh, you know, customization for India standpoint. Uh, we're also, uh, all the Redmi phones that we are selling here in the market are subject to the same quality standards that we have for the Mi, Mi phones. Uh, which means that you know each of these phones go through about you know 4,000 software and hardware tests uh, right in the R&D phase itself. And what you see over here are some of the tests, but there's a whole gamut of 4,000 tests that each of these devices go through because we believe it's only if we give great quality devices, devices that last a long time, uh, our customers happy and our customers uh, would like to sort of keep coming back to Xiaomi as a brand. Uh, we have a short video that we've created to talk about you know. Uh, it's a cool, fun video, uh, but it gives you the essence of you know what we do to ensure that uh, the devices are great. Uh, it has the best quality, and you know you don't really have to do anything. Like tested the devices for all of these use cases and we try to ensure that uh, they withstand all of these uh, rough and tear that you know most devices go through right uh, so now coming to price uh, before i delve into price uh, would like to touch upon you know one important aspect that's impacting not just us but the entire industry uh, as most of you know uh, the rupee has depreciated against the dollar from the start of the 12 nanometer processor that's a uh, you know segment first uh, it also comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera with uh, uh, AI-based face unlock. Uh, just to give you a quick comparison of where does Redmi 6A stack up against some of the devices from the competition, as you can clearly see, uh, it stands out from a processor standpoint, it stands out from a camera standpoint, it stands out from a battery stand. Uh, and you know, all of these devices are priced uh, significantly higher than a Redmi 6A. So, so the Redmi 6A for the 2GB uh, with 16 GB of ROM, uh, we're going to be pricing it at 5999. Uh, but please also bear in mind that this is an introductory price. 
Uh, this price is only applicable for the next couple of months. If the dollar continues to operate at the same level uh, as it is today or continues to, uh, if the rupee continues, continues to depreciate, uh, we will have to evaluate the pricing at a later point in time. Uh, so the Redmi 6A also comes with one more variant, which is the 2 plus 32. Uh, and this one comes at a price of uh, just 699. Again, this is an introductory price offer that is valid only for the first two months. Uh, next, sorry, so Redmi 6A uh, will be a, will go on sale for the first time on 19 September, which is two weeks from now. Uh, this will be available on me.com and amazon.in. Uh, it will also be available in Me Homes and all our off offline partner stores uh, very soon. And the next product that we spoke about today is the Redmi 6. Uh, Redmi 6, to summarize, uh, comes with dual camera uh, with large 1.25 micron pixels. And it also comes with octa-core speed with a 12 nanometer processor of Helio A22. Uh, so this, if you were to compare it with most of the devices in the segment, again, stands out purely from a processing uh, standpoint uh, and also from a rare camera standpoint. So the Redmi 6 uh, will be priced an introductory price offer for the first couple of months, uh, post which it will be evaluated whether we'll have to increase the price further or not. Uh, Redmi 6 also comes with one more variant, which will be a 3 GB RAM with 64 GB of storage. And this one comes at a price of uh, 9499. Uh, also happens to be the introductory price. And then uh, Redmi 6 will on sale on uh, 10th of September uh, on both me.com and Flipkart. And subsequently, it's going to be available across Me Homes and all other offline partners. Uh, so that's Redmi 6 for you on where it is going to be available. Uh, we will also have a bank offer on Redmi 6 just for the first sale. Uh, so uh, if any of you, if any of the customers have an HDFC bank, a debit card or a credit card, you get a 500 rupees off just for the first sale on Redmi 6, on Flipkart and on me.com. Uh, the last product that we introduced today was the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, again, it comes with dual camera and uh, two-day battery. Uh, again, if you were to compare it with uh, most of the other devices uh, in the segment, uh, clearly it does everything that they can and more. So it comes in two variants. Uh, the starting variant will be with 3 GB RAM and 32 GB of storage. Uh, this will be made available at a price point of 10 triple nine. Uh, and then you have one more variant, which is the 4G variant with 64 GB of storage. And that will be made available at a price point of just 12 triple nine. So that's uh, the Redmi 6 Pro. Uh, this is going to be available for sale uh, starting next week on 11th of September at 12 noon. This is going to be available on me.com and on Amazon and subsequently in all our offline stores as well. Uh, so the Redmi 6 Pro also comes with an offer. Uh, just for the first sale, uh, you'll have an HDFC bank offer wherein you could buy, you could get an additional 500 rupees off on the prices that we've spoken about right now. So that's uh, that's a quick recap. Uh, to summarize, we launched three phones today, Redmi 6A, which is the Deshka Naya smartphone, uh, with a starting price of 599. Uh, we launched Redmi 6, uh, which is the dual camera with octa-core speed that starts at 799 for the 3GB and uh, 32 GB uh, variant. And then we launched Redmi 6 Pro, uh, which is a dual camera, you know, two-day battery life device that starts with a price point of 10 triple nine. I'd like to call uh, Anuj on stage now uh, for a quick photo op. Thank you. That's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, we hope you can experience the devices out there in the experience zone. Would love to catch up with some of you right after this. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.